Welcome everybody. This is the advanced lesson on working with images with Prezi. And we are going to talk about a few things. The first is alignment and distribution. When you grab an image and you move it, you will see these yellow lines that are telling you what the image is aligning to. For example, if I wanted in the center of the logo, in the vertical center, I will, I will drag the image until I see this orange or yellow ruler. I can also do that to this text or to this. I can align on top horizontally, at the middle horizontally, at the bottom. This helps me with distributing the content throughout the presentation without having to use difficult methods or having to size the images outside of Prezi. For now, we are going to align this image with the top of the logo to have as much white space as we can. Another, um, let me see, tablet. Let's find a cool tablet image. Let's see if this works. Okay, it's not perfect, but can work for our example. When I bring uh, an image into a Prezi presentation, it's at the top level. It's on top of all the others. If I want to show this image on top of this image, I will select this image, right click and bring to front. I will do the same with the logo and bring it to front. Note that the logo is transparent while the images that we included is not. It works with topics too. Topics behave as images. For example, if I bring this image here and I right click this topic and bring it to front, because I brought the front only this topic. This image remains in front of these other topics. So it's up to us to decide on which layer each of the images uh, will reside, especially when we are uh, superimposing images uh, one to each other. The last part of this advanced lesson on working with images is about actually editing the image. That's find the skyline. In the basic lesson, we saw how to crop an image. Go back to the previous lesson of, on this course to find how to crop an image. And remember that when you crop an image with this option, you only crop the visual, but not the actual image. Keeping the weight of the image as part of the presentation, making it heavier. But if we choose, if we select the image and choose this other option, which is the advanced image editing, then we have a bunch of options that include changing the format of the image. So if we want a square image or a wide screen, we can also have color filters. We have saturation, brightness, contrast, and gamma options. Let's say that we want to represent a dark evening, and we want to make it even stronger. Uh, we want more definition. And we are not going to touch the gamma because it will touch our colors. We can play all we want with the different options. And if we are not happy, we just reset to default and keep playing with options. Well, it's up to you to play around with the different options on the advanced image editing. Let's go to focus uh, where we can actually add effects 
to the image. We can add a focus to a specific part of the image. This is a mirror effect. This is a linear focus. It's similar to radial. On a Gaussian effect. Which is the effect that uses iPhone for the back of your portrait pictures. You can draw stuff. Or you can point to stuff. Though I suggest using uh, Prezi's arrows. Uh, this is a very cool feature where you can add a frame to your image and you can change the opacity of the frame so the frame is not solid on top of the image and you can also change the size or the width of the stroke of the frame. I like this very much. Once you are done with your effects, click on Update and it will go back to your Prezi presentation and give you the modified image. In this case, it doesn't work like the crop option, which only adds a mask, leaving the image as the original. In this case, the image is fully modified, and unless you undo here, you use the undo option, this image uh, will remain permanent as is. Okay, that's it for this lesson. See you in the next.